Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing Aquarius's their monthly love read. I am aware that it is um, March 11th that I'm recording these. Um, so it'll be for the remainder of March 2023. We're going to get what's coming towards you in love. Um, my apologies, but this is going to be the monthly and the weekly for this week. I'm not going to be doing individual reads. Um, I just don't have the energy. It was kind of a rough day. I mean, it wasn't kind of a rough day. It was absolutely a rough day. Um, and I don't have the energy or the time to do it, so my apologies. Um, the Love and Romance Journey cards we'll be using from Queen Sugar Tarot, the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck, and the To Be Honest from Divine Moon Empress, is along with um, the Love Mix 2000s Lyrics of the Heart. I'll be pulling cards for what's coming towards you in love, Aquarius is. Um, these are general reads, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not to read, sorry, I have a halls in my mouth and it was, it got stuck on my tooth. Um, this is a general read. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. There's doing it again. <laughs> I don't know. This is sticky halls. Ridiculous. I'm sorry. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read, then go ahead and check out your moon and your rising signs. If you're unfamiliar with what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that'll get you that information. There's also a link in the description box below that'll get you to my personal webpage. If you're interested in a personal read, I think that's it, guys. I'm using a new deck today, um, the Light Sprite Tarot by C.A. Mallard, a Mallard, I think, like Ballad, Mallard. Um, super cute deck. I really like it. So let's get into it, Aquarius. What's coming towards Aquarius is in love. On top of the rough day, my son's been sick the last couple days, and now I think it's coming towards me, so it's okay. It's okay. I've been pretty healthy for a while. If I get cold, I'm all right. All right. So we have a Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Wands. Good cards, Aquarius is. On the bottom of the deck, Aquarius is, we have the Nine of Wands, which is that wounded warrior kind of energy. I like this card because it's not someone who's given up. It's someone who's persevering, someone who's pushing forward, someone who is wounded, who has been through a lot, but they're like still like, hey, I still believe good things are going to happen because they are. So that's good. Underneath that, we have the freaking Ten of Cups, which is true love, soulmate, happily ever after. Underneath, underneath that, we have the lovers, which is true love, soulmates, marriage, sorry, <laughs> true love, soulmate, marriage. So these cards are kind of similar, right? Happily ever after, true love, soulmates, marriage. Um, definitely great things coming towards you. Um, but you're kind of sitting in this wounded warrior energy, which is um, understandable because life is tough. People don't treat us the way they should. We don't treat people the way we should sometimes either. And um, life is tough. So, your person, what's coming towards you in love? I feel like your person has been quite guarded with their own personal life um, as well. Um, the Four of Pentacles is usually like in traditional tarot, it's the guy like holding a coin and like so close to his chest. And I think your person has been really closed off to a love situation. Um, very guarded, kind of blocking, very defensive kind of energy. I see them coming towards you guys with this Knight of Pentacles energy. Um, I think it's just so funny because this reminds me of like, honey, I shrunk the, shrunk the kids because it's this little light guy and all these, these different, I can't speak, in nature, like blades of grass or leaves or in this case, a grasshopper. But the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. I don't think the grasshopper is the best thing to represent slow moving, but I didn't create the deck and I still think it's cute, so it doesn't matter. But, um... When maybe I'm supposed to read the booklet and see if there's a different meaning, but I didn't. I just opened this deck and I really like it. Anyways, sidebar. I think your person has been very closed off to a love situation, um, very guarded, and now they're starting to say, you know what? I think I'm, I think I might like Aquarius. I think I'm going to start moving towards Aquarius, but I'm cautious and I'm slow moving, and I'm going to just take it super slow. It's like um. Strong and steady wins the race. Like it's someone that's just going to keep slowly moving forward. They're not rushing. They're not jumping. They're not making rash decisions. 
they're moving forward. This person, moving forward slowly. This person has love for you. This person's cup of love is overflowing. They want a new start in love. This person emotionally connects with you, um, feels very strongly about you. This is, good this is good, good, good for a love read. We have the Wheel of Fortune here, which means things are shifting in your favor. Things are starting to happen. Karma's kind of taking over, putting things into place, lining things up. So your waiting time is almost over, Aquarius is. I feel like your waiting time is almost over. So this Wheel of Fortune is shifting. Karma is moving things into place. It's aligning things that need to be aligned before you get your person. And this person, not a, they're slow and steady, right? I failed to say this. They're slow and steady. They're grounded. They're committed. They're loyal, right? They want a long-term commitment. They're into... Um, consistency, stable finances, right? But they're also very fun, very energetic. This um, Knight of Wands, sexy, passionate, flirty, fun. I feel like you laugh a lot with this person. You will laugh a lot with this person. You enjoy your time with them. I feel like they have a good sense of humor. Um, so they're very cautious, yes, but they're very loving, very fun to be around. And things are finally starting to shift in your favor with this Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius. So yay. All right, let's get the Love and Romance Journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot for Aquariuses. Release. Divine timing, I'm telling you. Did I say that or did I say that? I said that. In. Blind spot. Masked offer. And destiny. Growth on the bottom. Wedding underneath that. Gifts and offers. Yes. All right. So you guys, I feel like um, this blind spot and masked offers could potentially be some things that have kept your person in this guarded energy. Could be some things that have kept you in this wounded warrior energy yourself. Um, I feel like you or them both maybe were being lied to previously. Like someone presented much differently with this masked offer than what they really were. So they may have... Um, just really kind of pulled the wool over your eyes, made you think certain things, and then just kind of screwed you over. Um, which puts you in a situation of feeling like you're not sure what to do. Um, or you're not sure what to do and how to move forward. So that could be your your energy or your person's energy. But I feel like regardless, like you're this wounded warrior energy, but you're still like, yes, it's going to happen. And they're this Knight of Pentacles energy where they're like slow and steady wins the race. So I think even with these these issues from like, I feel like previous issues, this is very much a destined connection. This thing, this this connection, this thing um, will happen in divine timing. And I think um, honestly, you guys coming together will help you both release these difficulties from the past. Um, because it's going to be such a true love situation, such an overflowing um, bucket of love. <laughs> bucket of love. Where the heck did that come from? I don't know. All right, we're going to get the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck. We're going to pull three cards. Not taking it. Oh, I'll take the one that turned over. Getting to know you. Release and let go again. So we have release twice. <clears throat> excuse me, an abusive relationship, toxic relationship. I think this is what maybe made you the wounded warrior. This is what maybe made your person that four of pentacles and closed off. <clears throat> excuse me, a toxic relationship, relationship abuse. So I feel like um, you were very poorly treated previously. Um, or your person or both of you, which I feel like potentially it could be both of you. And you're both kind of bringing, come together to heal one another. So this release and let go like release here and then getting to know you so i feel like um i feel like that wheel of fortune is is kicking in things are taking over good things are coming aquariuses we're going to get a couple of to be honest cards this deck is from divine moon empress um and sometimes it's got some really harsh words um some blunt direct words sometimes not so bad um but i'm going to just caution you before we pull some cards, some of these might be harsh. Um, also, sometimes I find the message cards don't really necessarily go along with the read. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And I find with this deck especially, 
it could be like um, things that have been said to you previously, like potentially in an abusive relationship. <laughs> Not necessarily abusive, but just like in your past. Um, so it might be an indicator of something that's been stated to you before and not necessarily a message from your current person coming. So just to kind of keep those things in mind, let's get three cards for Aquarius is from the To Be On The Stick. And there we go. Um, the first one that came out says, it doesn't matter what I say or do, you just won't let me go. So I purposely do things to hurt you in hopes that you'll run away from me. Like this, I feel like is an old thing that you're going to release. I don't like feeling like I'm being forced to make a decision. Please back off a little. I'm feeling suffocated. Oh, I was like, what's that? Oh, it's a shadow from my hair. Um, so this could be current, right? Or you, this could be your person, too, because they're that guarded knight of pentacles, and you are that nine of wands. I feel like you're putting too much pressure on us. Can we let things happen naturally? <laughs> I don't think either one of you are going to be putting a lot of pressure, but this might just be something to be mindful. And then I get so nervous thinking about how I'm going to propose. I want to make you my wife or husband. Nice, 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 guys. Nice. I like it. All right. We are going to do Love Mix 2000's Lyrics of the Heart. Um, this is also from Divine Moon Empress. I love this deck. It's so cute. They're like little burned CDs. For those of us who know what CDs are. Um, the song itself might be relevant to you. It might be like, oh my gosh, that's my favorite song. So I know this reading's for me. Or it could be that you need to listen to the lyric that was chosen on the card. Um, the song you guys got was When I See You from Fantasia. And the lyric says, you're always on my mind. When you come around, I get shy when I see you. So that might be something that's helpful to you um, to identify who this person might be for you. If you don't already know. All right, Aquariuses, thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate your support. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you so, so very much. Um, and until next time, guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching.